Hey, Billy Boo Radley. Big fan of the podcast. My fiance and I have seen you live in the UK a couple of times, and we can't wait for you to come back. Oh, thank you. I appreciate you coming out. Um, I don't know if this is happening in the USA as well, but Amazon is now offering tours of its fulfillment centers in the UK. Well, that sounds like damage control. I think it's incredible that Amazon are holding these tours to show how happy and well cared for their staff are. Oh, my God. What? Okay, this guy says, quote, that guy didn't piss himself because he was working to a ridiculous time limit. He just spilt his free orange juice. Oh, they're saying this is how they're spinning it. Amazon is the abusive husband of employers. And they're having tours so that their staff can tell the public that they just banged their face on the bathroom door. (laughs) I'd be interested to hear your thoughts. Next time you're coming to Liverpool, ask for some food recommendations on the podcast. Fucks know where you ate. Fuck knows where you ate last time you were here. All the best to you and your family. Um, Yeah, I ate at some awful places. All right, let me open this link. I got to read this shit. Oh, my God. You know, they hand-selected happy fucking workers. Oh, my God. They probably like, all right. Torn Amazon Fulfillment Center. See the magic that happens after you click buy on Amazon.co.uk by touring one of our fulfillment centers and seeing firsthand how we deliver for our customers. Search for a location and book for yourself or for groups of up to 10 people over six years of age, please. For large group bookings, please contact blah, 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 blah. We call our warehouses fulfillment centers. I I just, how, every time you think fucking corporations cannot be any more transparent at like how fucking evil they are. A fulfillment, that's what you call a fucking warehouse? Oh, my God. I mean, I just, in in another life, I want to get into the corporate world because I want to go into that meeting when they're coming up with those names. Are they sitting around laughing, knowing how ridiculous it is to say that somebody working all those hours for that shit fucking pay is fulfilled? Oh, boy. Do you remember that really one of the worst fucking weeks in our life in the life of the United States right around 9-11 when they started calling French fries freedom fries? I mean, and then the fact that there were adults that laughed and then thought that that was a good thing. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Here's the deal. I'll give you guys a little fucking story. All right. So, uh, a friend of ours bought my daughter a uh, a doll and a little bed, you know, for her birthday. So, go put together the fucking crib, and it's got one of those what do you call those those fucking uh, those fucking screws? I call them I call them uh, I always call them. Uh, Ikea screws. You know those screws? You got to stick it. uh, A cross dowel nut. One of those fucking things, right? So it's got like, you know, it has eight of those. Four up top, four on the bottom. Boom, boom, boom. The whole thing's together. No big deal. Well, one of them isn't machined right. There's still a piece of metal hanging in there. So I'm like, ah, what the fuck? I'll go over to Home Depot. So I go to Home Depot, right? I'm walking around, you know, fucking, you know, thousand foot fucking ceiling, giant goddamn store. I can't fucking find anybody. Finally find somebody and I hold it up. Do you guys have these? She's like, yeah, we do. Aisle 14. So I go over to fucking aisle 14. I walk down the aisle. I find another fucking employee because I can't find him. And he's like, I'm helping somebody else. Like all fucking upset. And it's just like, well, listen, buddy, I get it. Everybody approaches you because you only have six people walking the fucking floor, it seems. So he comes back. I go, yeah, uh, do you have these? And he goes, no, we don't make those here. 
So I'm like, what the, f-? Well, the lady just said you had, well, she was wrong, right? Okay, great. So then he's like, I don't know. He helps me find out what size it is. So then I go online, you can't fucking find it. So instead I go to, a, I say, fuck this. I go to this mom and pop um, hardware store, a little bit out of my way. I walk in there. The guy fucking walks up. He tries to find him. He can't find it. You know, he doesn't have him. So I'm like, fuck. So he goes, all right, let me come out. And he takes me in back. He sticks the screw in a little fucking vice he has. Of course, I'm thinking about casino at that point. You made me pop your eye out for fucking, was it something M, whatever the guy's name was. Um, And he just takes a little fucking hand screw thing and he basically re-threads it for me. Took like 10 minutes out of his day. He did it. And he goes, that'll work. So I go to give him 20 bucks. He goes, no, no, no charge. I go, come on, take it. He said, no, it's fine. I fucking walk out and the thing's fine. All right. That's, that's what, I don't know. Corporations just don't do that. They just have this, it's so fucking hostile. It's just fuck you. We're putting out all the mom and pop businesses. We're putting them all out of fucking business. And then you deal with us. And you can't get anybody on the phone and fuck you. And then right when you get bad bullshit, we'll then have a tour and we'll have all our fucking miserable employees, the ones that we paid off to then sit there with a fucking smile on their face. It's fucking horrible. All right. I don't even know where the fuck I was going with that. I'm I'm into mom and pop places when you can do it. All right. Okay. I'm into electric cars. I'm into having solar panels, anything you can fucking do to buy, to use less fucking oil. So different parts of the world become less of an interest for my own country so we can somehow not go bankrupt here, even though we already are bankrupt. And maybe that's the only thing keeping us afloat. I don't know. All right. Getting too big here. Getting too big for my britches. Let's just get get back down to earth here. Face apps. Dear Billy Good Dad, I'd like to encourage you to keep your daughter's face off of those dumb apps where it looks like you, you have bunny ears or dumb sunglasses. This is little... There is little that can be done to adults now, but these companies are storing faces and cataloging them. What evil will be done with this information? I have no idea. That's why it freaks me out. I can't figure out why this information is worth tens of millions of dollars. Yeah, like, listen, all this shit that I bring up, okay, there's people who are actually working on it. And, like, as fucking crazy as it to hear me talking about it, to actually have people who are literally dealing with the fucking problem. I mean, I think... You know, I don't want to even talk about it because it's too fucking crazy and big. Anyway, someone will say, but Bill, your daughter and the other children's faces are being recorded elsewhere. Yeah, but not in HD like with all the permission given away by whoever downloads the app. In 20 years, they could say they have time travel and have versions of you talking to yourself and telling you to do crazy shit. And you'll believe it because, you know, they're close to time travel by this point And the future version of you will look really convincing in whatever video message is sent from the future. Anyway, look it up. Whoa, where the fuck did that go? In 20 years, they could say they have time travel and have versions of you talking to yourself and telling you to do crazy shit. And you'll believe it because, you know, they're close to... I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Yeah, I know. I, I Listen, I'm doing what the fuck I can here. Um, go to mom and pop places as much as you can. And if you can afford solar panels and electric car, I, that's, I, other than that, I don't know what you do. And then try to stay off social media and avoid screaming at somebody you don't know because you're not going to change their mind. And you're just going to waste your time. All right. Other than that, keep watching sports or whatever the fuck, uh, sci-fi, whatever the fuck you guys are into. Is, is fucking Rob Lowe ever going to age? This fucking guy looks amazing. Um, anyway. Heartbroken and disgusted at the same time. Hey, Bill, I'm a 22-year-old female from Massachusetts. Been tuned into your podcast to add a laugh to my day for about a year and a half. I don't know, though. That was just a wild fucking guess. Anyway, I'm writing in on the off chance that you give the urge to this depressing email. I don't want to read a depressing fucking email. All right, I get it. Times are tough out there. All right. I have spoken to my therapist who only states the obvious family members, even my pastor about this, and no one can give me actual advice that seeps into my mind. 
Oh, so this is your Hail Mary. Okay. Talking to some old guy who can barely read out loud. All right, take this advice at your own risk.